Hello, today we are going to look at sleep cycles on a computer. Basically, is it better to keep a computer on, to put it to sleep, or is it better to turn it off completely? Note, this has been a long debated topic, and each person's situation depends on which is better for you. But in this, we will look at the wear and tear of each. We will be using a standard solid state drive which has several knowns and interacts with each cycle slightly differently. For those of you who doesn't know, on Windows there are several standby modes, or known as power states. The first is working, and obviously this is what you're in now. Following this, you have S0, or known as Modern Standby, or Low Power Idle. This is used on modern computers without modifying it. It lets Windows update while in sleep mode. Because of this, I'm considering the solid state drive to be running 24-7. However, at a much reduced power rate. Note the problem with this power mode at this time is it's more up to the hardware manufacturers to program it right. Because of this, some owners of RGB computers have reported it to keep running while in sleep mode. Similar things with fans. Some reported that you can't even get out of sleep mode on some computers. Many experience where the network can wake the computer. Because of bad hardware manufacturers, not taking this mode seriously, this has caused where laptops have overheated in a bag or the battery would drain overnight 30% or more, and so on. It is extremely common for people to just prevent their computers from going into sleep mode due to how buggy this mode is. And what makes it worse, Microsoft is working on it, but for some time now, they mention they simply don't have enough data to solve this problem. And yet, they don't really collect any data by default and depend on the feedback function, which is questionable at best. In my opinion, if done right, this mode makes sense and is worth it. But currently, it isn't worth it. Now, with S1 through S3, this uses the RAM to store keep your current state. This means the RAM keeps it power. And if it ever loses it, then it's as if you turned it completely off. In S1, the CPU has stopped, the RAM kept its power, but everything else is in low power mode. Note S1 consumes less power than S0. For S2, a similar thing, but it consumes less power than S1. Now for S3. This is what most people are turning to as this is the old version of sleep mode. In S3, the RAM and peripheral devices like keyboards remain active. Other things can remain active depending on the hardware, but the rule of thumb. If you are running a solid state drive, this is the last stop before turning off the machine. For S4, this is known as hibernation. This isn't recommended for those running a solid state drive as you have a limited read and write. For S4, instead of writing things to the RAM, it writes it to the hard drives. This can cause a solid state to die faster than normal. For S5, or known as soft off, the system appears to be off. This state is comprised of a full shutdown and boot cycle. Most computers, when you turn it off, it goes to this mode. And then G3, this is full power off. Now, my focus for this video is keeping it on S0, S3, and turning it off. What we know about a solid state is the average lifespan is about 10 years if properly taken care of. But many report roughly about five years, but that has more to deal with the limited rights during daily use. Note S0 will likely increase this, but there is no data on this sadly. But by 10 years, it's likely you would changed out the entire computer, if not the solid state anyways. Now because AS3 and power off a complete power off to the hard drives. We now need to look at how many power cycles can it stand. Note when you turn on your devices, a small surge of electricity is pushed through the devices. This happens on all devices, including cars, phones, and even your TV. 
Anyways, for a solid SATE drive, you're looking at about 150,000 power cycles. Because S3 turns the power off to the solid state. We will consider this as a full power cycle. Like from the solid state standpoint, there is no difference between AS3, S4, S5, and G3. It is off. This is where things get a bit tricky, since you have to look at your personal patterns. But let's say you were to eat through the power cycles in one year. You would have to do 410 power cycles a day. But let's say you want the thing to last for 10 years. This means you can get away with about 41 power cycles per day. So let's go with a realistic number of five power cycles a day. Your look at after 10 years, 18,250 power cycles, or about 12% of the estimated limit. Personally, when it comes to S0, I would go with setting the sleep timer to five minutes or whenever the screen goes off. For S3, I would go with an hour of ideal time. Keep in mind with all of this, you still have wear on other devices like the coolant system. Because of this, it may be best for you to look at your own system and situation to see what is best for you. Now what about power off? The advantage to this is the machine is off and there no longer is any real wear on the machine. The general rule of thumb most use is if you aren't using your computer for eight hours, then it might be best to power it off. But to many, this is because many assume powering it off make a bit of difference when it comes to the electric bill. In reality, even a S0 consumes hardly any power to make a difference. And because we are talking about power cycles and what that can do. If you are keeping your device long term, I suggest if you aren't going to use it for the next 12 hours or more, it might be best to power it off. While the machine doesn't use much power, if you aren't using the machine for 12, then for every time you turn it off for that long or longer, you at least helped keep it alive for just that much longer. But like anything, it all depends. Anyways, if you have any questions, then please feel free to ask. Please leave a like, subscribe, and share.